Hello Gemini, how's it going? I hope you're super well as always. My name is Madam Butterfly and we're going to do a little love reading. We're going to see, we're going to tap into the energy of this person and see what's going on with this person, okay? And I know that we had, um, hmm, Queen of Wands is coming out. We're looking good Gemini, showing up as the Queen of Wands here. Um, I know we had two energies recently, an old energy and a new energy, so we're going to be tapping into the new energy today. So we're going to be starting off with the, the tarot. Um, you are so welcome here as always, Gemini. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. You know, I appreciate it so much. And, um, you know, if you feel like it resonates with you and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that so much too. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Gemini's new energy? What's going on with Gemini's new person? Okay. Oh, Gemini. All right, your person. Oh, my God. All right, they're showing up as the tower. <laughs> um, so your person, ha there, there's a lot going on for your person at the moment. Like, this is... Something is changing for this person. You know, the tower, it can be, it's something quite, it's a drastic change. It can be something bad, it can be something good, um, but it certainly indicates um, something like a, a complete change in belief systems. Basically, your belief system is being um, destroyed so they can be built back up, you know. You also have the Justice card here, so they could be dealing with a karmic. Something could have ended with a karmic. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting, Gemini, right? Let's see what else is going on. The chariot is there. Okay, so they're trying to make a decision about what to do. Something's definitely ended, um, or something has really, really changed. Six of Swords, the Page of Swords. Right, there's a whole new thinking going on with this person. Okay. Um, let me just do another little shuffle here, Gemini. Gemini. All right, this is a nice reading for this person. They're definitely going through it. Okay, be patient with them because there's there's a lot going on for them. Um, so yeah, we already talked about the tower. So there's something I'm going to clarify that and see what it is. But um, it's definitely a huge shift in this person's life. They're trying to decide which way to go here with the chariot. Um, you have the six of swords and the page of swords, they're leaving something behind. They've been in, like, um, you know, they've been in this five of swords energy, right? And now they're moving into the six of swords. So the five of swords is like, you know, they could have been with someone who was very cold, very emotionally manipulative, like, you know, a situation where it doesn't matter how much time or money or love they put into the situation, it did not get any better, right? So they're they're done. <laughs> they're gone. Six of Swords, they're gone. And they're highly listening to their intuition here. You know, this person is being guided by intuition. There's been a whole, there's been like a breakthrough. This has been a long time coming. I don't think they really wanted to see it, is what I want to say. They have this Five of Cups in the past here, Gemini. So something went awry in their past, okay? Something you know, ended or some something something did not go according to plan. You have the King of Swords here in the future, so it kinda looks to me. Um well let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hello. The the lovers. They're determined to have this connection with you, Gemini. They're absolutely determined. 
they will be a little guarded, all right, is what I want to say. They're going to be, they're, you know, that king of swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could also be a Virgo. Um, but th they're going to be a little bit guarded, all right. The king of swords is, you know, they're very logical. He's, he or she, they're trying to protect their heart. They're trying to make sure they don't get hurt. But there's going to be a union here. They're, they're, they're determined to have this union with you. But they will be guarded because that's just what they're bringing with them at the moment. All right. So just be patient. It won't be like that all the time. They will eventually let their guard down with you, of course. Okay. Um, let's just see what this tower is. What's this tower? <laughs> Something's ended. Oh my god. Alright, it looks like this is happening now. Something has ended for this person. They could have left the person, the person could have left them. It's not been a pleasant ending, okay? It's it's not been amicable, <laughs> um, is what I want to say. And it's happened, I want to say it's happened quite fast. The tower is usually something that's happened quite fast. However, I want to say that it's been building for a while because they have this Five of Cups. Is that focused? They have this Five of Cups in the past. So this has been building for a while. I think this is a relationship that's gone down the pan, frankly. They could be... Um, a Virgo. You have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck here. But yeah, you have the, you have, there's union here in the future with the lovers. I want to say it's not, you know, it's taken a long time to get to this point for you guys. Even though this is the newer energy we're focusing on, right? It's taken a long time because the lovers does take a long time. Because both of you need to drop the ego. And by that, it sounds rude, right? But all I mean by that is like, you have to let go of the past. You have to let go of like, oh my God, I have to, like for this person, for example, like I have to stay in this relationship because I, I have to, you know, even though I'm not happy in the relationship, this is where I am and this is where I'm going to stay. But some part of this person has realized like, no, I don't want this. <laughs> like I want to be with Gemini. Gemini is my soulmate. Right, so they've had to let go of the ego that's telling them it's safer to stay where they are. Like they shouldn't, you know, um, this quote I think is particularly relevant. You know, there may have been some fear involved because they've been, they've had some kind of disappointment in the past here with the Five of Cups, whether this is to do with this connection or like a cycle of previous connections, you know. Um, so they have the Queen of Cups here. Uh, let's just clarify that. This person is used to a very structured and logical way of living, all right? What they're doing at the moment is very, very different for them. This is not something they would usually do, okay? They like things to be structured, they like it to be organized, they like to have a plan, they like to know what's going on. And they're going a bit AWOL here, okay? And it seems to be for you, Gemini, all right? They're also leveling up with the Emperor. They've like leveled up, especially, well, not especially. I mean, the Emperor does tend to represent the Divine Masculine, but you can flip that if you want, if this is your Divine Feminine. Um, you know, this is someone stepping into their Divine Masculine, basically like leveling up, like, saying to the world like no I'm, no like i'm not happy i'm not staying here you know this is not this is this is not good for me why is that queen of cups there please They get a lot of strength from this 
my gosh. Okay, right, this person's after commitment, all right, Gemini? Um, you have the three of pentacles here, you know, they want it to be solid. You're gonna get a message. You have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck, you're gonna get a message. Now listen, Gemini, with these readings, right, this can be something that's happening right now. It might happen in a couple of weeks. For some of you, it might already have happened, okay? But this person, I, I think they were in a relationship when you guys met, okay? Maybe this isn't gonna resonate for all of you, but it's ended, okay? So whether this has ended a few months ago or whether this is ending now or it's gonna end in a month or something, this is what's happening, okay? But, expect it to when it does happen i'm stuttering <laughs> getting excited when it does happen expect this to be ha expect a message coming in fast all right because i don't think they're going to waste much time after they've ended this and moving on to you because i think they've done this for you okay but listen king of swords they will be guarded all right just prepare for that be patient with them so you have the Ten of Pentacles down here. They're looking for commitment. This is somebody who is generally committed. Like they're they're of that nature. Um, <laughs> they prefer things to be stable. This person, they like to, like I said earlier, they like to know what's going on, right? All this kind of shit. Um, so this crazy Gemini energy is maybe something new to them. Okay, and I say that with love, Gemini. I'm a Gemini too. You have the strength card here. So this person, they get strength from this connection with you. All right, is what I wanna say. Um, they're very much listening to their intuition. There may be something with this person, like a father figure in their life that is very uh, dominant for some of you. That may be something like I don't know, maybe they've been in this connection for a long time and their dad was always like, just man up or like, just, you know, woman up, just stay in the connection, this person's good for you, you should be settled down, blah, 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 I don't know. Uh, that could be for some of you, okay? But with the Queen of Cups, they're very much listening to their intuition rather than listening to their logic, okay? Um, Queen of Cups, like they're wanting to progress this to the next stage. They're doing an awful lot of reminiscing about this connection. You know, they think an awful lot about the times that you were together. And this connection, you give them strength. I feel like they've gotten a lot of strength here. Because also this Queen of Cups energy, it talks about somebody really, really sweet, right? Um, and I'm just noticing the King of Cups is lurking behind that page of wands. So this person is showing up you guys are the perfect match, right? They're showing up here as either the queen or the king. Okay, you can choose, but you guys are the perfect match because the king, the, the queen of cups, sorry for stuttering. I think it's their energy. I think they're excited. Um, the queen of cups here, I think I'm actually picking up on like the energy of what's going on. This is why I'm kind of warning you. I think it will happen fast, all right? Because there's a lot of like, that kind of energy in the air around me. So the Queen of Cups, this person's very, very sweet, very compassionate. They've had to learn boundaries like you have, okay? Because they kept getting taken advantage of in the past because they are such a sweetheart. Um, but the boundaries they have learned from this connection with you, like you've helped this person be strong. Um, I think it's just literally because this is the type of energy the lovers is and you'll probably find this person has done that for you too. Like they've made you strong, right? Because the lovers is like, you know, it's souls that have incarnated a thousand times together, you know, in different, sometimes on earth, sometimes in different places, you know, um, a lot, okay? Like it's, you've, it, this is not your first rodeo, okay? So it's like when your souls met, it was like, that's the one. <laughs> um, and it kind of made your true selves come out and it made you feel both feel stronger. Excuse me, Gemini, you have the Ace of Cups and the outcome. <laughs> I mean, this is beautiful. The King of Cups, the lovers in the future and the Ace of Cups and the outcome. So this is love, Gemini. This is falling in love. And I actually particularly love this Ace of Cups in this deck because it's so peaceful looking. See how it's got the doves? That kind of always puts me in mind of a past life connection as well. 
and it's just going to be like bliss, like magical. You're going to be so, so happy together. They have the seven of wands in, in their fears, okay? So I think this person's maybe going to get a lot of shit from their environment for what they've chosen to do here with this ending this connection because I feel like they've chosen to end it um, and they know they're going to have to fight for this connection with you so you guys might actually I don't know um, be strong for each other right you might have to be strong for this person because they, they're kind of scared that they're going to get a lot of shit for, from people about doing this you know because I feel like that you're dealing with something yeah look you're going to get a lot the page of wands at the bottom of the deck with the eight of wands I've literally just randomly split that you're gonna get a lot of communication from this person all at once and fast and they might don't miss this opportunity Gemini okay don't overthink it just go with what your gut is saying right if you want to be with this person like when they call you or when they text you you know be honest with them and tell them that right you don't need to play games with this person. They don't, they're not going to play games with you, but they will be guarded, King of Swords. I know I keep saying it, but I think it's important for you to know. And I think they've had, you know, it's not, this connection they've been in has not been fun for them with this Five of Cups in the past, okay? Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to get some of these red cards here, Gemini. And then I am going to pull some advice cards for Gemini from my weird little homemade advice card deck. So what would this person, yeah, just look at this though. You've come out as the King and the Queen of Cups. You know, you both have so much love for each other. It's just beautiful. What would this person like to say to Gemini, please? Babies in the future. Holy shit, Gemini. All right. This person is not screwing around. This person wants a family for a lot of you, okay? I know there's, there's going to be someone in the comments that says that's not applicable to them, but for those of you who it is applicable to, like, that's what this person's thinking of, okay? You have, you're always on my mind, so you're always thinking about you, Gemini, dealing with my issues. Okay, what else would this person like to say to Gemini? leveling up for you there's that emperor energy leveling up for you and let's get a couple more what else would this person like to say to gemini i'm a little suspicious of you okay and it's actually come out with you're so beautiful they came out together, so they might be a little suspicious of you because they think you're gorgeous, basically. Um, you might think the same thing about them. You know, this may be like two people, because with the lovers, you're going to be very similar, right? And especially with the King and the Queen of Cups as well, you're reflecting like very kind, very generous, very sweet energies of two people that have been kind of taken advantage of in the past, right? Um, so you might, you might well be thinking this about that person, like, you're so gorgeous, like, you're too good for me. They're thinking this about you, alright? Um, there's an energy here of, like, why you want to be with me? Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I don't understand. And you might be thinking that, too. You have spying on you here as well. Which could also be this, um, page of swords down here, doing a little bit of spying on you seeing what's up, maybe seeing if you're with anyone. You are a light in my world. God bless this person, Gemini. And interestingly, you have, there's no one else at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it's ended. Whatever it was, it's ended. All right. Or like I said, you know, this can, like time is, it's fluid, right? You know, um, so this could be happening now, it could have happened a couple of weeks ago, it might happen in a couple of weeks, you know. So we're going to get some of these advice cards, Gemini, and see what Spirit wants to nag you about today. So Spirit, what would you like to say to Gemini? What would you like to say to Gemini?
ignore the haters boo keep going so i don't know if you're getting a lot of hate from people at the moment gemini like maybe you're just not maybe you're just not getting a lot of support right maybe you're feeling kind of alone or you're just feeling like you're just kind of out there doing your own thing and you're not getting a lot of support but they're just saying keep going okay because you're not going to be alone for much longer yes this is a big old yes okay not going to be alone for much longer put yourself first So put what you want first, you know, um, look after yourself and you are enough. You are enough, Gemini. Let's get a couple more. What else would you like to say to Gemini, please? You are very loved. Yeah, so that could be them saying like, we love you, Gemini, like your guide saying that. Um, well, your guide or, you know, this could be talking about this person. I'm noticing also, yeah, look, expect rapid changes. So things are going to happen quite fast. All right. So just be ready for this. <laughs> um, I'm also, I just want to say this person doesn't just, they don't strike me as like particularly mushy. Okay. Like these red cards up here, I do have, I wrote these myself and I do have some quite mushy ones in there, like quite romantic mushy ones, but there's not a lot of mush up here, okay? They seem quite, especially showing up as this King of Swords, they, they seem quite analytical, quite straightforward, okay? But they're really tapping into their intuition here to make this move with you. Um, but yeah, when they do call you, they might not be super mushy, <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah, I expect things to change quickly. So I hope this was useful, Gemini. Many, many thanks for watching. If it was useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And, uh, you know, many blessings, Gemini. Love and light.